Ciao friends, Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by today and I'm going to show you how to decrease my favorite stitch, the Suzette stitch. I was reminded by Jennifer Flapjack, thanks Flapjack, that I had not put out my decrease yet. Since it doesn't exist anywhere and I, this, I just love this stitch so much, I had to figure out a way for the increase and the decrease. I already showed everybody how to increase, so today is decrease day and then we get to learn how to make this my beautiful scarf tomorrow. I am use, just using, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby and this one is called City Beat. I love these colors. They're just so much fun. There's that a little bit of everything in here. But you can see I've worked up a swatch here. Increased a little bit, increased a little bit, increased a little bit. So look how quickly it goes. It's just huge now. So now we are going to decrease. Decrease our Suzette stitch. But first we're just going to do one row all the way across of a normal Suzette so everybody can be reminded how to do my favorite stitch. So chain one and turn your work. And our Suzette stitch starts out in the very first stitch right here with a single crochet and a double crochet in that same stitch. And then you skip a stitch and do that same pattern. A single and a double in the third stitch skip the next stitch, single and a double in the same stitch, and we're going to do that all the way across. And here is my last Suzette stitch. There's a single and a double. And at the end of every row with a normal Suzette row, remember you skip a stitch and then our very last stitch is just a single crochet. No double, just a single. That's how you finish off a Suzette stitch. Perfect. So now let's decrease. I can show you three ways. We're going to chain one and turn our work. Three ways to decrease. You can decrease at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end. The beginning and the middle are generally the same. The end is a little bit different. Remember a normal stitch is a single and a double in this very first stitch, but to decrease at the, at the beginning point, we're just going to single crochet. Skip one and then our double crochet. Just like that. I'll show you one more time how easy this is. So what we're doing is removing one stitch. So instead of having a single and a double in this one, a skip and a single and a double in this one, we are doing a single crochet in the first stitch, then we're going to do our skip and then we're going to do our double crochet. So you just removed one stitch, but you removed half of this stitch and half of that stitch. Then you can continue on. We're going to skip this stitch, do a single and a double. There's just a normal old Suzette stitch. Skip, single and a double. And now let's try that again in the middle. Just like we did at the beginning. Skip one like normal, single crochet only skip, double crochet only, skip, and then continue on. With a normal Suzette, there is a single and a double in the same stitch with a skip in between. Let's try that one more time. So we're going to skip this stitch, single crochet only, skip, and there's our double crochet only. So what we did was we removed a stitch, but half of the stitch came out of this one and half came out of that one. Skip, single, now we'll work down to the end and I will show you how to end it. I will show you how to decrease at the end of your piece. It's just a little bit different than what we did at the beginning. All right, we're at the point now where we can do our decrease at this end. You need to have your last five stitches available. So there's a skip, one, we would work this one, skip, work this one, skip, and work this one. So actually six stitches because this one is a skip. So when you have your last six stitches on your piece, what we're going to do is skip like normal in between our stitches. And this one will be a single crochet only, skip, double crochet only, 
skip and in our last stitch just like a normal row is a single crochet only see how drastically that reduced our Suzette it's, that was a huge reduction it's poofy now we took out stitch at the beginning we took out two in the middle and we took another one out at the end so I'm going to show you that one more time and that's it that's all you need to know so chain one turn your work at the beginning we do a single crochet only skip a stitch and a double crochet only that removed a stitch but you took half out of this one and half out of that one skip a stitch and do your normal following the normal Suzette sequence and we'll do one in the middle it's exactly the same as at the beginning skip a stitch single crochet only skip a stitch and a double crochet only and then you continue on with your normal pattern told you it was easy but since this stitch doesn't seem to exist I had to figure it out because I love it so it's one of my favorites it just gives a little bit of texture and I think it's fun two three four five six so we'll do one more so we get to the end so here's our last six stitches one two three four five six skip the first one single crochet only skip double crochet only skip and then in your last stitch just like normal is a single crochet only and you're done and now it's even tinier you see how fast that goes isn't that amazing so there you go that's all you need to know it's really really simple and now we can move on and actually make something using my favorite stitch that's not just a big square you don't always want to make a big square. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks, and I'll see you real soon. Thanks. Bye.